Oh boy. The transfer pursuit of Dea Opamecano from Arsenal has been one that has been pretty well publicised. Back in the previous transfer, Arsenal went as far as to even make a bid for the centre back, apparently. And let's just say that things just didn't work out. Instead, Arsenal went to sign David Luiz on transfer deadline day. Life as an Arsenal fan summed right up. And so fast forward time into January 2020, Arsenal are still quite clearly in need of a centre back. So therefore today we will discuss the potential transfer of RB Leipzig centre back and France under 21 international Deo Upamecano to Arsenal. With the reports claiming that Arsenal will look to make an offer for the centre defender in the current transfer window. So with that being said guys, let's discuss the highly unlikely but still possible transfer of Deo Upamecano to Arsenal in the January transfer window. Let's go! Lads, I'm going to make it very clear right now. I personally do not think this deal is going to happen in January. I mean, we are talking Arsenal spending money in January. It never happens. Regards to the lads, we are going to discuss. Yo, what is on all guys? My name is Basso and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back with another video discussing your favourite topic, which is transfers. Bloody transfers. I love transfers. Way! In terms of the transfer that we are going to discuss today, it's going to be Deo Pomacano to Arsenal. Now, reports have come out from the Mirror saying that Arsenal will potentially look to make a loan move in the current window and then sign him on a permanent in the summer. And I'm going to say it one more time, lads, I do not think this is going to happen. I made myself clear. Quickly though, before we get into the video, make sure to go down and smash a like on the video as always. In terms of the like target, I always seem to say it is always 100 likes. If you make a go down and smash 100 likes, your boy would appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down and subscribe to the channel as well because your boy is on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are getting there slowly but surely. And also, while you're down there, let me know your thoughts in the comments on Data from Makana to Arsenal. Do you think this is going to happen? I personally don't, but if you think it's going to happen, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that being said, lads, uh, let's get into this. RB Leipzig and French centre back Data from Makana been linked with a 50 million pounds to the Maya Arsenal. So, without any further ado, lads, let's discuss a transfer that's probably not gonna happen. First of all, lads, as always, let's start off with who exactly is Deo Apamecano. Apamecano currently plays in the Bundesliga for RB Leipzig. He, of course, is a centre back, which, of course, is the massive key right now. A centre back, something that Arsenal definitely, definitely need. In terms of nationality, he's a French under 21 international, where he's played with the likes of Matteo Guendouzi. Matteo, you know what to do. Get on the phone, Adrian Matteo, sign him up. In terms of age, it's a very key thing here. And in terms of Pabacano, he is 21 years old. As you can see, lads, he's a pretty young guy, being only two years older than your boy. So, yeah, he's pretty young. And that, of course, is a very key thing which you're going to get into later on in the video. In terms of if we look into the past of Dea Bubakano, the man who spent two years at RB Leipzig. Prior to playing his football in Germany for RB Leipzig, he was playing in the other Red Bull team, which is Salzburg, in the Austrian League. So, all in all, he spent a lot of his career playing for the Red Bull teams. And you know what that means, lads. He's going to have wings and he's going to fly. Now, in terms of Dea Bubakano's career so far, the man has played less than 120 games. Now, of course, if you look at the fact of like, his age and so on and so on, that kind of doesn't make sense. The man is still pretty young. But then again, lads, having played less than 100, 20 games, the man has been liquid 50 million pound moves to Arsenal. Lads, I'm gonna say it right now. The game's gone mad. Moving on, lads, let's talk about the type of player that Dale Opamecano is. Opamecano is in many ways a dominant centre back. Very strong in terms of very very strong on the ball and also very strong off the ball. If you look at Opamecano's height, he's not very tall, but regards to say that he's still very good in there and he's very dominant in there. In fact, his aerial duels are one of his actual strengths. Not only that, lads, but he's also a very fast player. And if you look at his face on FIFA, you can see the man is not a slow guy. Put a shadow on that card and you got a very decent player. Now, apart from his physical traits, he's also a very good defender. He's a very strong tackler of the ball and he's very good when it comes to winning that ball. And in terms of his tackle success rate, it's pretty good. And not only that, lads, but he's also a fantastic reader of the game. So one of the strengths of Palmacano is his ability to intercept. And that clearly shows the man can read the game and he's a step ahead of the game. And that's something also could definitely do it. If you look at our current centre backs, they're very reactionary centre backs. David Luiz and Socrates. The players that slide in, make slide tackles, last two challenges, which of course when they come out they are pretty good. But then again, lads, what that does show to me is they're both reactive centre backs and not being proactive and reading the game. So if we were to side the Alpha Makano, we would definitely be getting a very great interceptor of the game. And to round up the type of player Alpha Makano is, he's a player who's actually very good in the ball. In terms of the type of passes that Alpha prefers to play, that is of course short passes. And overall, if you watch a Alpha Makano play, you can see he's pretty comfortable in the ball when it comes to distributing the ball forward, progressing the ball into midfield, and also dribbling the ball when needed to. And so overall, lads, if you look at the Profile of player that Pamukano is, he's a very well rounded centre back. He's a player that's not got many weaknesses in terms of physical traits and also in terms of defending traits. So, what I'm basically saying, lads, is if we're going to sign a Pamukano, we're getting a very, very decent centre back. On to the third thing, and that is why do Arsenal need him? Uh, how do I put it? 
We need centre backs. If you look at our current centre back pairing in David Luiz and Socrates, they're both very unreliable. Having seen all the mistakes that them two have made during the season so far, I don't want to trust them, and I'm not going to trust them either. So in that perspective, you can see why we need a Bamakala. We need to upgrade in the current centre backs. And also, let's not forget that we're also currently very short centre backs. Fro Poling has recently returned from a long-term crucial ligament injury. That's not going to be easy to come back for, and he's going to take time to adjust to get back to his best. Not only that, that's but we've also recently lost Callum Chambers to a long-term injury. So if you then look at our current centre back options, it's David Luiz and Socrates and not a lot after. So to put it straight like that, we are currently very short of centre backs. And in terms of good centre backs that we have, we don't really have any. Well, we do kind of have one. The Mbappe of centre backs, William Saliba, who will be coming next season. And also, lads, let's not forget right now, the main reason why we need centre backs is because for too long we have neglected that area. How long have we been saying that Arsenal's defence has been an issue? In particular, that central defensive area. For too long have I been an Arsenal fan and gone the defence, it's absolutely awful. When was the last time you saw Arsenal go out there and spend big on the centre back? Mustafi and look how that worked out. And so for me, lads, it's been too long and it's time for us to resolve it. We are in need of top centre backs. Pomacano is a top centre back. If you look at the rest of the teams around us, even United have strengthened the defence of Maguire, 90 million pounds. Van Dijk and Liverpool, 75 million pounds. Chelsea have got the likes of Rudiger. You look at City, they've got Laporte. Who do Arsenal have? David Luiz! Are you being serious? On to the final thing, lads, and that is is he worth 50 million pounds? Now, of course, 50 million pounds is currently the reported price. Of course, that might not be his actual price, and I expect it to be much higher. But regardless of the price, to answer the question, yes, he is worth that price. The reason for me saying that, of course, there are particular reasons for it. One of the reasons why, of course, is his age. The man is only 21 years old. If you're going to go out there and sign a player for 50 million pounds or so, you're going to want to go out a player who not only is going to fix the current situation, but also going to be home for the future. And that is exactly what we'll be getting with Dale Bamakano. Not only that, lads, but let's look at his potential. He is potentially world class for me. Prior in the video, of course, I did go through the profile player that Bamakano is. And as you might can see, he's a man that doesn't have many weaknesses. And that, for me, lads, is why I see this man as potentially world class and not only is he potentially world class but right now he's a very good centre back and that's what Arsenal need a man that can come in Arsenal and resolve the current situation so not only do I think he'll be a great player in the future but if we sign him right now he will improve our current centre backs and also like just to forget the man is a fast centre back the man is nearly as fast as a player as fast as I speak and to round up lads we need to fix this defence I've seen it for too long I've heard about it too long this should no longer be a problem so last year we went out and spent 70 million pounds on an attacker our tax has always been good now I'm not saying we shouldn't have spent that money Pepe, but what I'm trying to say is we need to address the centre-back. For too long has that area been neglected. We've got we've got fantastic full-backs in Tierney and Bellerin. We've got good midfielders in Xhaka and Torreira. We've got fantastic attacking players in Abambi and Lacazette and Ozil. But look at our centre-backs, David Luiz and Socrates. That says it all, lads. So for me, lads, is a Palmecano worth over £50 million? Yes. Don Raul, less of Lauren Kazawa, more of their Palmecano. That's what I want to hear. Go out there and sign some players, in particular, a Palmecan. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. Of course, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to go and smash a like on it. As always, I would appreciate over 100 likes. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go and subscribe to it. And also, while you are down there, let me know your thoughts in the comments on a Palmecan. Do you think, for some reason, this deal is possible? And if we do get him, he's the right man for Arsenal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that being said, guys, let's end the video there and there. They are my car into Arsenal. Most likely for me, won't happen in this current transfer window, but it's a transfer that Arsenal will definitely do need to make. So Don Raul, go out there, start knocking, and sign the player. Anyways, lads, I'll see you next time. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. You caught my eye, and I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me the ring and I'll...